There are 77 characters that you can choose from from this Dokkan thank you celebration ticket or gift card that you received, um, which you're going to receive more through missions and stuff. But um, the units that, you know, what units should you be focusing on? What units, what units should you get from this pool of characters? Um, and from this AGL pool, the Super AGL, one of the top ones that I think you should focus on is uh, Ka Khalifla, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, because she does have high utility in her high chance to dodge, and her EZA is actually very, very solid. Um, she can she can deal out some damage, but she she definitely her her high point or her greatest skill is the high chance to dodge. So. Um, She's one of the ones that you should definitely be focusing on if you don't have her. Um, and then there's also this Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, he has high damage reduction um, with his EZA. Once again, another solid EZA and pretty good utility in his kit. So um, for the extreme AGL, definitely the top unit in these three units is this AGL Golden Frieza. You want to make sure you grab him if you don't have him. If you don't have him rainbowed, go ahead and grab him as well to get some dupes in him. So he he definitely uh, he has the highest damage reduction uh, out of any character in the game. 90% damage reduction. Um, he's not going to deal a lot of damage. So if if you want to grab him for damage reduction, that's it's a great choice. But if you're looking to do a lot of have a lot of damage output he's, he's not the character for that but with his damage reduction he's very very good for harder events for sure so um out of the super tech pool uh we have this goku right here he's definitely the top unit to pull out of out of these characters here uh he stacks attack and defense um after his easy a and uh He's very good for the upcoming legendary Vegeta event. Um, he he definitely has a lot of utility, and his kit overall is very very good. Um, and once again, with his stacking ability, he he can deal a lot of damage in longer events, and also stack that defense to make sure you have that survivability. Um, the second unit I would definitely choose out of all these units is. This Vegeta right here, he has utility in his um, chance to stun, I believe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, medium chance to stun. Yeah, he has he has a chance to stun. I believe it turns into high chance when he goes to Dokkan Awakens, right? Yeah. So, yeah. He definitely is a good unit for um, things like Super Battle Road. Um, he has that high utility to stun and so and he does i believe he has an easy a doesn't he no 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 he doesn't okay. okay so but yeah so that would be the second unit in that pool of characters to get um from super tech extreme tech um this frieza's dulk on awakening is uh decent and he goes well with this cell right here these are um, two units that go well together. So if you do plan on picking him up, definitely pick him up and they pair well together. Um, and their Dokkan, Dokkan Awakenings are very, very decent. So, um, for the super intelligence, the top unit here that I think you should grab is this Mai right here. She's a very good support for time travelers category for the time travelers category. Um, she also has a chance to stun enemies. Um, so she has great utility and she's a great support. I believe it's key plus three and attack and defense plus 30%. So um, don't quote me on that, um, but I believe that's it. So for the support. So yeah, utility and support for her. Um, for the extreme, there are two that come to mind. Um, this Int Android 18, her now, her Dokkan Awakening is not exactly up to par, but after her EZA, she's a very, very good unit. And obviously, she's going to pair well with uh, Android 17s. So, um, But she she actually is not the first unit I would choose in this pool of characters. It would be this uh, Metal, Metal Cooler. 
um he he's a very good support unit for extreme class units not just intelligence but extreme class overall um and with that amount of support that he gives um he's he's one of he's actually a very very versatile since he does support all extreme class units so definitely pick him up if you do not have him um for the super strength pool of characters this topo is definitely a really good one i believe yeah he's definitely the top unit that you should choose in this pool of characters um and once again this is all opinion based and from experience of the characters that you know i've used and uh, my experience with with uh using these characters in long events short events whatever events it is so um overall this guy is going to be uh your top choice in this super strength pool of characters because he he's a very good um support unit um he's very versatile in that because he supports uh i believe all allies yeah all allies and he does have some damage reduction so he he's very good at defensively as well he does not output a lot of damage but that's not his role he's he's a support unit and a defensive unit um if you're wanting to buff peppy gals chi chi's a really good one to uh uh get as well she um she'll be really really good on your peppy gals category team but we also have i would say he's a sleeper unit this vegeta right here um one of the one of the first unit if not the first units that has counter but he right now he's not very good even with his dokkan awakening but he when he gets his easy a he's gonna be pretty busted in my opinion um and that that's all speculation i i think he will be pretty busted as an easy a unit so uh with his kit that he already has there's there's a lot to build on that for sure so um so if you're looking at you know this pool of characters topo being one chi chi being two and then him possibly being three um so those are three decent units out of this pool of characters um for the extreme class um you know i'll be honest i don't have a lot of experience with some of these i do use him some so I don't have a lot of experience with these guys. I don't I haven't used a lot of these. So, you know, drop a comment below. See see uh if you choose any of these characters, drop a comment below as to why you chose one of these characters. Let's help out the community for sure. So I, I honestly genuinely do not have experience with a lot of these characters. So um I'm not gonna give an opinion on something I don't know about. <laughs> so um out of these super physical type characters um you have definitely number one pick here this kefla right here right now she does not have her easy on global she has it on jp but obviously since she does have it on jp we know it's coming to global at some point in time um so definitely pick her up and in my opinion out of all these characters we're going through and talking about She's definitely going to be the number one pick overall for um, this whole pool of characters. And I'm talking like not just getting a copy of her, but rainbowing her. You need to rainbow her because her easy A is busted for sure. And she's going to pair well with Kales and Khalifas and all that good stuff. So number one here for super phys physical and number one overall, in my opinion. And then you have kale she has a decent easy a for sure and she will pair well with this kefla right here and then you have this goku right here he has high utility in his high chance to stun which is very very good after his dokkan awakening and uh he has an easy a as well right here so with his easy a he's definitely oh so he goes from high chance to great chance of stunning enemy i forgot about that so yeah definitely with his easy a and he's an older easy a um so and his his passive is not bad but you know his his where he shines really well is his uh 
great chance of stunning the enemy. So it's very good for hard events like Super Battle Road. So, um, come on, back up, please. Thank you. All right. And out of these extreme physical type characters, um, definitely pull, get this Vegeta if you don't have him. Um, he's very good for the legendary Goku event and he stacks attack and defense. So he has a lot of versatility and utility for long events. And I've used him quite a bit. He's saved me <laughs> quite a few times. So I, I definitely trust this unit a lot. This Bergamo is also still really, really good, even though he has to take hits in order to get his full passive going, his full potential on his passive. And that's fine. Once he starts taking hits, he gets that damage reduction. He gets the buildup on that defense. He's good for the, the whole event. So um, definitely one of these two. Um, I, if I were to pick one of these two over the other, I would probably choose this Vegeta. Um, because he's he has more uses, but he still he still has a lot of uses if if uh, if you have them. So, all right, that is my opinion. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope this helped you out, guys. Bye, bye, y'all.